Now big fire fireworks show just wrapped up a few moments ago in Spartanburg, the red, white and boom event. And we've got our Asia Wilson at Barnett Park in Spartanburg. Now Asia sounds like it's a lot quieter in the last few minutes. <laughs> That's right, Gordon. Actually, that show just wrapped up maybe about five minutes ago. People are still pulling out of here at Barnett Park, but thousands of people filled this park. Earlier today, event organizers told me it would be bigger and better, and I can tell you that grand finale was bigger and even closer than before. The music, the, the fun, and the food. It's enough food to go around for everybody. Thousands of people packed downtown Spartanburg's Barnett Park for its red, white, and boom event. Our first time out here, but we decided to come out here with our family and just enjoy the 4th of July. Excitement, fireworks. It started with a live band and nearly a dozen options for food. Todd Stacy and his crew say uh, number one sellers, the Philly cheese steak is very good. Best this side of Philadelphia. They've been cooking up fan favorites for years. They travel back to Spartanburg again for this year's celebration. And it's a real good event. It's a real good town. We love Spartanburg. And to keep people cool throughout the night. Got coconut, <clears throat> mango, peach, strawberry kiwi. Thank y'all. Cal Newton served rounds of his famous watered ice. This is a premium product made out of fruit. But the main event everyone showed up for. Loud noises. Fireworks. Colorful sparkles that lit up the sky, all in honor of America's birthday. It's a hometown show for me. As I mentioned earlier, event staff said that this uh, event was bigger and better than 2021. For now, we're live in Sparkle City, Spartanburg, Asia Wilson, 7 News. Well, if you had a nice time out there, Asia, thank you.